And we've got two more races lined up, this time with the VGP1 drivers. As we prepare to go racing, Schmidl on pole in that Predator car. Will he be able to hold on to it at the start, or will he be able to hold on to it when the inevitable full course yellow comes out? <laughs> and uh, just having a look as they get going, and it looks like uh, Stefanko actually already mounting an attack. Here comes Costody. Is he going to try and make the move before they get to the Mandar? Oh, he got alongside me. He's backed out of it. That's exactly what I was thinking he was going to do. He wanted to put Framish offline, and that's exactly what he's done. He's made Framish defend the uh, inside line coming through that very fast right-hander. It's caused him to bounce off the wall, lose that momentum, and Costody up to eight in the Forza car. He seems like the faster car at the moment, but of course he's having a hard time. It could be a similar situation to what Oops. we saw. Oh, that's some contact. He's going to have to let Sikora go through there. Yeah, you don't want to make that overtake after p punting somebody off into the wall. But I have to say, deeply impressive, the level of driving. I have to say it again, uh, especially from this man, Michael Schmidl, on pole by nearly half a second. And just the fastest lap, never challenged at any point. I don't think we saw him have any sort of major contact. I don't see any scuffs on that livery. So that is how the podium stands with Mr. Smiddle once again on the top spot. Perlesny there holding on to second. <laughs> Blazek, brilliant job keeping the pressure on, but again, well defended from Perlesny. Stefanko, as, as you said earlier, just a surprising fourth. And it's Sikora, Halabitz, Kazany, Kostelik, Frabish, Pachada, and Prohaska. Uh, as we prepare to go racing, and it is Hlebets who finished the, the sprint race in sixth position, who is on pole position in that smarty car with the RPS car of Sikora behind him, and Stefanko in third, crucially ahead of his rival in the championship, of course. As they make their way through the corner now, it's looking go Oh no! Yep, oh. and there it is, the Forza car. That was Kostulik losing the back end, and I think he's collected some oh, cars wow. as well too. Oh yeah, Prohaska's involved in that as well too. There is the full course yellow. Oh, we're going. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, look at that! That was uh, Sikora defending immediately from Blazjak, and I think probably from Smiddle as well. They're, they're thinking about what uh, Smiddle and the Predator car is going to do. So everyone just works their way through. Uh, and there, a bit deep goes in Hlebets. He's trying to cut back. Oh, oh. and there it goes Schmidl making a carbon copy move. But the Acer car trying to make his way past Sikora as well, too. Pelesny trying to sneak a move. You can see it in the background there. He's going to try and sneak past. I think he's just about got him. The Legion car of Blazek right behind as well. He wants to try and make a move on the RPS car. He's going to have the inside line through this right-hander. Unbelievable stuff. Sikora losing three positions in a very short period of time. Or are we going to see him lift a little bit? No. Is he going to pressure him? Yes, he is. He's already alongside. He's trying to force that mistake from Hlebets. And let's see, will the smarty car go wide enough? Yes, this is exactly what Stefanko needed. He's going to have the inside line for Hotel Lisboa for the lead of this Macau feature race. Is he going to be under the brakes late enough? There you can see the two competitors at the bottom of your screen, and he's done it. Stefanko is through into the lead. Oh, 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 that's gotten nasty. Oh, oh it, okay, oh. that's gotten uh, really ugly. That was a, a horrible set of circumstances going on there. Through the final quarter, you can see the elation briefly, briefly. He's still, he's still kind of a robot, so he's still. No, nope, there it is. <laughs> there there it, is. it is. And he is absolutely thrilled, and I'm thrilled for him. Pelesny's gonna come home in second position. Oh, you can see the emotion. Unbelievable. Wow. I, I mean, what a race. Uh, Martin Stefanko, great to see him back on the top step of the podium with Polesny. A fantastic podium as well for Blazek. We didn't think he was going to be involved in that, did we, Chris? No. So, uh, yeah, it was good to see some uh, different names up top. So Stefanko, Polesny, and Blazek rounding out the podium. Prohaska, Secret, Smiddle, all the way down there in sixth because of the penalties. And uh, Pachano, Kazany, Kosli, Frabish rounding out the field with Klebitz not seeing the flag. The season is not over yet. That is going to do it for this broadcast. Uh, thanks, as always, to the entire VGP team. Chris Buxton for joining me. I've been Justin Sutton. We will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.